Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the most important equipment in the chip manufacturing process, lithography machines have always attracted global attention. Dutch ASML has achieved an absolute monopoly in the field of lithography machines with EUV, but Japan's Nikon and Canon, which have been surpassed, are not giving up. Because the United States continues to revise chip regulations, many places around the world are developing lithography machine-related technologies. Recently, it was reported that Russia will have completed the 7 nanometers level DUV, and Japan has reported that it has completed the 5 nanometers lithography machine. Now ASML is completely panicked. Currently, there are only four companies in the world that can produce photolithography machines for chip manufacturing, namely ASML of the Netherlands, Nikon and Canon of Japan, and Shanghai Microelectronics of China. However, they are basically monopolized by ASML, accounting for about 90% of the market share. Due to the relatively backward manufacturing process, Shanghai Microelectronics of China has not achieved external sales, and its sales are basically negligible at present. However, Japan's Canon and Nikon were once known as the two heroes of lithography machines. The semiconductor industry originated in the United States, so the first lithography machine giants were American companies. However, they were later surpassed by Japan's Nikon and Canon, and the U.S. lithography machine companies gradually declined. Japan's Nikon and Canon were very advanced in lenses at the time, and had been providing lens accessories to U.S. photolithography machine companies. In the process, they learned a lot about photolithography machine-related technologies, and later gradually entered the photolithography machine manufacturing industry. With the first major transfer of the semiconductor industry from the United States to Japan, Japan's semiconductor industry has risen rapidly. The lithography machine business of Japan's Nikon and Canon has also grown rapidly, and the lithography machine companies in the United States have gradually been surpassed by Japanese companies. Later, the United States imposed sanctions on Japanese semiconductors until they collapsed, which also paved the way for the decline of Japan's Nikon and Canon photolithography machines. Later, the Dutch ASML's lithography machine gradually came to prominence, and it took the risk to adopt the immersion lithography machine technology of TSMC expert Lin Benjian. In one fell swoop, it surpassed Japan's Nikon and Canon and quickly expanded its share in the global lithography machine market. This was also noticed by the United States, so it began to support ASML and suppress Japan's Nikon and Canon. Later, Intel led the alliance to develop EUV technology and refused to join Japan's Nikon and Canon allowing ASML to exclusively enjoy EUV lithography technology. This allowed ASML to exclusively produce EUV lithography machines, firmly establishing itself as the number one lithography machine in the world, crushing Nikon and Canon. However, the lithography machine business of Japan's Nikon and Canon is still intermittent. Although the market share is not large, they have not stopped moving forward and are not willing to be surpassed. They have been strengthening technology research and development and striving to regain the dominance of lithography machines again. Nikon continued to follow the old path of ASML and later broke through the immersion lithography machine technology 
and was able to ship mid-range DUV. Canon has taken a different approach. Although it has been shipping mid- to low-end lithography machines, it is also developing advanced process lithography machines. However, it has not followed the old path of ASML, but has adopted another lithography technology, that is, nil nano imprint technology. Nikon's breakthrough immersion DUV lithography machine can produce 7 nanometers process chips through multiple exposures. To produce 5 nanometers chips, you need to use ASML's EUV lithography machine. So Nikon is still a big step away from catching up with ASML. Canon, however, took the lead in realizing a lithography machine for producing 5 nanometers chips. Recently, news came that Japan's Canon officially announced that it has begun selling chip production equipment based on nano imprinting technology, making it clear that it can produce 5 nanometers chips. This means that ASML's monopoly on high-end lithography machines has been broken. Previously, only EUV could produce 5 nanometers chips. The key is that only one company in the Netherlands can produce EUV lithography machines. Not only is it very expensive, with one unit selling for more than $100 million, but the production capacity is also very limited. Major wafer manufacturers, such as TSMC and Samsung need to schedule their purchases before they can buy them. Nowadays, Canon has also launched a lithography machine that can produce 5 nanometers chips. The most important thing is that the price is cheaper than EUV. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated that ASML was completely panicked this time, because 5 nanometers chips can be produced without EUV lithography machines. Once Canon's lithography equipment is put into use in large quantities, I am afraid that no one will care about EUV lithography machines. Some time ago, Russian media reported that a Russian R&D institution had produced a DUV-level photolithography machine and claimed to have a 7 nanometers prototype next year. I'm afraid ASML won't care too much about this. After all, there is still a long way to go to 5 nanometers. Unexpectedly, Japan's Nikon directly produced a lithography machine for producing 5 nanometers chips, which can also be directly sold to external parties and entered into the application process. The only thing ASML is thankful for is that there are still problems to be solved in the introduction of nil technology into mass production. However, their lithography machine technology has given China a wake-up call and can expand China's ideas for realizing domestic lithography machines.